Right, so today I'm going to show you how to check ink densities in Adobe InDesign and Acrobat. Uh, for InDesign, we'll be using a tool called Separations Preview. Um, to find that, you go to Window, Output, and then Separations Preview. And the default is off, so if you want to turn it on to Separations, that will show you as you hover around that the top number shows you the total ink coverage and then below that shows you the percentage of each of the four process colors of ink or if you have spot colors in your file that will show you that as well um, another thing you can look at is ink limit so if you're trying not to go over 280 percent then you can view the ink limit set your percentage to 280 percent and then anything that shows up in color over here is going to be above that ink percentage. If you want to see exactly what it is, I just go here and then hover over it. Wow, I'm at 340 there. Down in these black areas I'm at, you know, 295 or 285. So some areas are worse than others. Um, with your text, I guess just make sure in swatches, whatever blacks you're using. If you just use black, that's just going to be 100% black. Um, if you build your own black, if you build a rich black, then that'll have whatever percentages you assign to it. Um, rich blacks should really only be, you know, down in that range. Um, you know, so then that fixes that that issue. So uh, similar in Acrobat now. So to find um, in this one we want print production. So if you're looking for that, I would just search here for print production and then pull that up. Um, I'm a printer, so I've got that as one of my main tools that I use. So and then once there you go to output preview and then we've got similar thing here. So percentages of each color and then total at the bottom. And again if we want to see the total ink coverage, you know, wherever it supersedes 280%, we just click on that and set the percentage. Anything that turns that bright green color is a problem. Um, it's easier to fix it not in Acrobat if you can, but this at least shows you an easy way to find all those things. So, uh, another kind of tool, tr cool trick is you can turn off some of these colors. So if you take the black out, that's what's left. Take the yellow out, that's what's left. Um, whatever you see in black now is, is cyan. And turn them all off. If you see nothing, turn them all on. Anyway, that's uh, how to see and look at ink coverages.